the Department of Biology at the University of North Carolina. Here, biologist Bob Goldstein and his team study animals that could survive a rocky ride through space. So this is a tardigrade. It's walking around in the bottom of the dish here. Tardigrades have been around for over 600 million years. They're the ultimate survivors. They measure only one fourth of a millimeter, but they are fully developed animals. Tardigrades are a lot more complicated than something as simple as bacteria. They're multicellular animals. They, they have eyes and legs and walk around uh, like we do. But what makes tardigrades particularly fascinating is their unique survival mechanism. This lab test demonstrates tardigrades become virtually indestructible when their bodies dehydrate. The body stops all movement, the legs disappear, and the tardigrades shrink into a ball. Scientists call this mass a ton. When tardigrades enter the ton stage, their metabolism has stopped and they can survive incredible conditions. They'll survive down to below one degree Kelvin, which is close to where molecular motion completely stops. They can also survive temperatures as high as 424 degrees Kelvin, or 303 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll survive extremes of temperature, extremes of pressure, extremes of, of radiation qualities that would make tardigrades the perfect space traveler. It's as if they're dead, but they're called cryptobiotic. They're in cryptobiosis, which means that they're, it's as if they're dead, but if you add water, then they revive and they walk away. It's a simple procedure that brings the dehydrated tardigrades back to life. If this worked well, they should sort of reinflate with the water, and then within a few hours, they'll start walking around. The dried out tardigrades are in there. And I add the water. They start filling with the water and growing a little bit as that happens. The legs come back out. And then in the next few hours, they should start walking around in there. In 2007, scientists even exposed tardigrades to the vacuum of space to further study this amazing survival technique. When they brought them back down, they added water to them and they walked away just fine. They produced embryos again. It's an astounding capability, suggesting that alien organisms could reach our planet on a meteor. And